good morning i am devasena in this lecture we are going to discuss about gaussian minimum shift key gmsk gaussian minimum shift key gmsk the gaussian minimum shift key is a binary modulation technique that is derived from minimum shift key technique by applying a gaussian low pass filter with msk a gmsk signal can be derived that is passing the modulating non return to zero that is nrz waveform through the pre modulation pulse shaping filter which is gaussian the output is obtained with reduced side lobes in the transmitted spectrum the gmsk signal can be coherently or non coherently detected like fsk baseband gaussian pulse shaping smooths the pulse trajectory of the msk signal and hence stabilizes the instantaneous frequency variations over time this has the effect of considerably reducing the side lobe levels in the transmitted spectrum pre modulation gaussian filtering converts the full response message signal into a partial response scheme where each transmitted symbol spans several trajectory to deviate from the simple msk however since pulse shaping does not cause the pattern averaged phase trajectory to deviate from that of simple msk gmsk can be coherently detected just as an msk signal or non coherently detected as simple fsk signal in practice gmsk is most attractive for its excellent power efficiency that is due to constant envelope and its excellent spectral efficiency the performance of gmsk modem is quantified by the measurements of signal to noise ratio that is snr versus bit error rate the snr is related to capital e suffix b by a not as below that is capital e suffix b by a not is equal to r divided by r into a not that is s by n of capital b suffix n kept divided by capital r where b not is equal to energy per bit s is the signal power r is the data rate in bits per second capital n suffix not that is noise and capital b suffix n is noise bandwidth in if filter gaussian's lpf response curve and power spectral density of gmsk is shown in this diagrams the gmsk bit rate offers better performance within one decibel of optimum msk when the 3 db bandwidth bit duration product that is bt is equal to 0.25 the bit error probability for the gmsk transmission is expressed as capital p suffix e is equal to capital q Into open bracket square root of two gamma capital E suffix B divided by capital N suffix not close the bracket where gamma is a constant related to B D and this gamma value is equal to 0.85 for M S K and 0.68 for G M S K that is related to B D. G M S K transmission. the two methods of gmsk transmission are frequency modulated vco that is fm vco here is a representation of frequency modulated vco and quadrature modulation here is a representation of quadrature modulation that is i and q modulator for gmsk transmission gmsk transmission direct fm generation method is a simple method that consists of gaussian low pass filter fm transmitter with vcu and rf amplifier the non return to zero data is applied at the input of 
GLPF and then to the FM transmitter. The output of this unit is given to RF amplifier from which the GMSK signal output is extracted and then transmitted. Such modulation is implemented in GSM that is Global System for Mobile Communication and CDPD that is Cellular Digital Packet Data Methods. The output signal of FM modulator is passed through RF amplifier circuit. The final radiated signal is the GMSK signal. The GMSK is used by several wireless data communication protocols. The two main systems that specifies GMSK modulation are Cellular Digital Packet Data that is CDPD system and Mobitex system. These two systems uses GMSK modulation. Cellular Digital Packet Data system the CDPD transmits packets on idle cellular voice channels. The data rate transmitted at 19.2 kilobits per second with bandwidth bit duration as 0.5. Such a high data rate is compatible with 30 kilohertz channel spacing. The CDPD system guarantees widespread radio coverage or ease of adaption. CDPD system representation is shown here. The Mobitex system is a dedicated data system. It has a lower data rate than the CDPD networks, say 8 kilobits per second. It does not share its channels with the cellular voice transmission. It has the BT equal to 0.3 and affects a higher channel spacing as 12.5 kHz when compared to CDPD. The system has better ISI that is inter-symbol interference tolerance. Mobitex system representation is shown here. Both the CDPD and the Mobitex system employs forward error correction technique in their packet transmissions. The GMSQ offers a straightforward spectrally efficient modulation for the wireless data transmission systems such as CDPD and Mobitex systems. GMSK receiver block diagram is shown here. Here the modulated IF input signal is processed and we are obtaining the demodulated output signal. We will discuss in further slides. In the GMSK detection process, orthogonal coherent detectors can be used. The input modulated signal is given to two mixer stages. They are represented in this block diagram. And IF local oscillator is applied to generated signals that is given directly to a mixer to and shifted by 90 degree and then applied to mixer 1. It is indicated in this block diagram of GMSK receiver system. The output signals are passed to two low pass filters. The orthogonal coherent detectors are used to extract the GMSK demodulated output signal. Appropriate clock recovery circuit is used in the demodulation process. These blocks are indicated here. Advantages of GMSK GMSK provides constant envelope. It provides good power efficiency. It has good spectral efficiency. Degradation due to ISI, that is inter-symbol interference, is tolerable in GMSK. GMSK is highly useful in wireless transmissions. Disadvantage of GMSK system. GMSK has irreducible error rate problem.
thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means kindly share this video to your friends thank you